I operate a regional insect monitoring network in potato fields across the Columbia Basin. We target four really important insect pests with our program. We're looking for potato psyllids, potato tuberworm moths, green peach aphids, and beet leafhoppers. All of these are crucial pests because they can cause uh, significant damage to crops. This year we're monitoring um, 43 potato fields across the Columbia Basin. And we visit these fields once a week, look for insects directly in the fields, but we also have insect traps, uh, sticky cards and different things like that where we um, collect insects on them and then take them back to our lab. Some of these pests are so tiny that we have to use magnification equipment to really know what we're looking for. So this is a trap we use to monitor a beet leaf hopper, which is a pest that transmits a virus-like disease that can cause a lot of problems. And so we've been uh, seeing some leaf hoppers um, recently, and so I expect to find some on this card. I see there is um, just one beet leaf hopper on this card. One beet leaf hopper is not much to get excited about. When we know when what we've, we're seeing in each field, we put a report together that's distributed out to the potato industry in an email called a potato pest alert. The entomologists at WSU are uh, taking our insect sampling network results, our data, and they are applying a model that creates a regional pest distribution map. It's a red that's a high density area, whereas if it's blue, it's a low density area. So that's where pests aren't occurring. But it's nice to be able to, for a grower to just be able to look at a map. Most growers say they make fewer uh, insecticide applications because of the information and early warning that they get on pest outbreaks. We've done a lot of work with growers. To, we know that they're looking for pests before they spray. They have to use a very targeted and special, efficient approach. It's just like any other business. They have to be very efficient in what they do. Integrated pest management is using all of the tools at your disposal when you're managing a pest, say an insect. You know that uh, selecting a different variety often has a different impact on the pests that occur. You know that not all pests will occur in the field at the same time. Um, it's, it's using different tools, monitoring tools, cultural management tools, uh, pest management products, insecticides, uh, and other things. The important thing with a lot of insect management is, is catching a pest infestation very early and, uh, and knowing what that pest is and then targeting the product to it. If uh, you target it at the right time and early, you don't have to go in with repeat recovery applications. It's the number of applications, and we're doing a really good job at reducing the number of applications that have to be made because we're getting much better at targeting the timing, making that timing just right. I'm Carrie Wolub, and I help grow potatoes.